Hello everyone from sunny England. I just wanted to say a few words about my foundation classical guitar courses that I've been recording and to let you know what they're all about and my reason for recording them. And it's amazing how much control that each one of those four notes in the series has. So you've really got to be thinking solidly in the rhythm. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Now, since the pandemic, um, obviously people wanted to be taught online, like Zoom lessons, guitar lessons, you know, taking up with your own time. But the old, I mean, old methods of learning used to be like on old VHS videos where people would make a course. And then students could access the various lessons at their own pace. Now, much like that, for the cost of what would have been a DVD or a, a video lesson course, I've done these online courses, uh, which are the equivalent of roundabout. Well, the first foundation one is two hours long, and the second foundation course is just under two hours. It's about one hour forty. And the idea is that you can learn at your own pace, select the lessons that are applicable to you, and basically go through all the foundational type things that I wished I would have had access to when I was much younger. Four. So you're looking for accuracy and control, so when you speed it up, started to vary the thumb to make it sound more interesting. So you can experiment with various thumb uh, combinations when you're playing a single string uh, motion like that. And the same when, you, when it comes to those other exercises like I and M, and then you can vary the thumb. So you can maybe experiment with that thumb and see if you can start to pick out these other strings because obviously the coordination for your thumb you want to know exactly where that thumb is going so you can practice and just pick some strings say some string names out and say right I want to play one um, six four two go six four two six four two six four two or oh, six two four six two four and just see if you can just place your thumb there. And that's a very, very good way of getting the thumb coordinated. In other words, I can save you time and hopefully you won't make the same mistakes that I did when I was much younger. So um, uh, the idea is looking at things like the right hand, looking at picking, looking at the fretting hand, looking at music theory, and just putting all the aspects together that give you a the reason why I call it the foundation course is because it gives you a really wide breadth of knowledge that you can take forwards with you in your later studies. And then there's one sort of more sort of grandiose type scheme where you can play um, uh, like it, uh, thumb and then index. And I'm going to skip a string, so I'm playing six four, six four. So you go six four, five three, four two, three one. So you're playing in pairs and going. So 
So I'm playing this with the chord of E minor. Or you can then elaborate these by introducing some I and M. So when I got to the B string, I then played M, I. So all M, I, um, P, I to start with, P, I, P, I, P, I. So then you... used to playing PI and then you can introduce maybe the mi middle finger and then finish MI and then you can extend that by finishing uh, an AM after that So you can experiment with these finger combinations and then you'll find that your, your hand, you're forcing your hand to be really balanced. And in some instances, some of you may have skipped some of the elements that I feel are essential for your learning and development. So I'm hoping that these courses will be of use to many of you out there. Again, the hand not being too far down like this, or the hand not being too far up like this. The more f of the finger combinations you use, the more it calls for your hand to be balanced in the first place. So do look out for that hand moving around uh, from side to side or from up and down. You want to make sure really that the hand is nicely balanced. So here's how to access these video courses. What you do is you go to uh, the Counterpoint Music School. The easiest way of doing that is looking me up on Google, Dale Harris Guitar, and you'll see my website. It'll be dale-harris.co.uk, dale-harris.com, or daleharris.net, whichever one shows up on your search engine. And on the home page, you will see a link to online guitar lessons so uh, that's the other easy way of accessing it uh, and also links in the description below this video now when you're developing muscles it's really important that, to realize that whenever you're making these motions uh, that you know when I've been saying I am and P these are all one directional motions. And so where you're really making an effort to say, pluck the string that way. And when you return your finger, you find that it's quite a light movement. And the same with the eye, you re release, when you release the finger, it's quite a light movement. So you're developing the muscles in one direction, which is not very good. Muscles work best when you've, you, you can do the opposite motion. So it's going to be a good form of practice to flick the fingers outwards, say flick the index finger, uh, the index finger or the middle finger or the ring finger, uh, and start to exercise your hands. So you're flicking all of the fingers outwards. So you can even flick the thumb upwards and then flick the little finger, ring, middle, index. So you're making a fan with the fingers, thumb, and then you're just literally flicking these fingers outwards. That is a kind of antidote to this, this, this muscular, you know, this, this feeling that your hand's sort of clenching, you know, which is really what the muscle action is. It's to grip. Um, so if you can get that hand to move outwards, then that's going to be really, really good uh, for the muscles, for the extra for your muscle development, so you don't end up, your hand's not going to be clenched all the time. You, know, you overdevelop the muscles. So... Um, that's a really important point.
So anyway, thanks for watching this video and I uh, hope you enjoy the online lessons for those of you that are going to go on to uh, purchase those.